an abstract artist wants to create two proportional triangular paintings. The dimensions of one painting are shown, and that's this top one right over here. How long should the two missing sides be in the second painting? So there are two proportional triangular paintings, or one way to think about it is going to be two triangles that are similar. And actually, we know based on how these triangles are marked up that they are similar triangles. You have this angle, this angle with these two arcs right over here is, has the same measure as that angle right over there. This angle with the three arcs has the same measure as this angle right over there. And that this angle, let me do it in a new color, with the one arc has the same measure as this angle right over there. If the, if the corresponding angles are have the same measure, if the corresponding angles are congruent, then we know that these are similar triangles. The other thing that tells you about similar triangles, or if you know that two triangles are similar, that means that the ratio between corresponding sides is going to be the same. So let's look at the corresponding sides, and then let's try to figure out that same ratio, or use that same ratio, so we can figure out the missing sides right over here. So the first thing, if you look at the side that's opposite this blue angle, this one arc angle, side xy over here, that's going to correspond to the side that's opposite this blue angle over here, so side AB. These are corresponding sides. You could also view it as a side between the orange and the magenta, the side between the orange and the magenta. Likewise, this side right over here that's opposite the orange angle, it's opposite the orange, the double arc angle, is going to correspond to this side that's opposite the orange double arc angle. Or you could view it as a side that's between the magenta and the blue angle. And then finally, let me use a, we have this side, which is opposite the magenta angle. It's opposite the magenta angle. It's between the blue and the orange angles, is going to correspond to this side, which is opposite the magenta angle and between the blue and orange angles. So what this tells us is that the ratio, we know since they are similar, the ratio between corresponding sides is going to be the same. So the ratio between these two sides, A, B, to xy, the ratio between the length of side AB and length of side xy, is going to be equal to the ratio between the length of side BC and the length of side YZ, which is going to be equal to the ratio of AC, AC to XZ. And they tell us what some of these lengths are. They tell us AB is equal to 5. They tell us that xy is equal to 2. They tell us that bc is equal to 9. And yz is one of the things we're going to have to solve for. But they also tell us that ac is equal to 10. Right? I want, I want to use the magenta. ac is equal to 10. And we also have to solve for xz. So we can actually get this, you know, this triple equality. We can actually create two separate equations, each of which have one unknown, and then we can solve for that unknown. So the first is, you have 5 halves is equal to 9 over yz. Is equal to 9, 9 over yz. And to solve for yz, well, there's a bunch of ways that you could do it. But you could just, let's see, we can multiply yz times both sides. You could multiply yz times both sides. Y is e times both sides. And actually, I won't. Well, I, you can and then we can multiply both sides by two fifths. But let's just do one step at a time. So then you get y z, y z times five halves, times five halves is equal to nine. Is equal to nine. And then you can multiply both sides times the reciprocal of five halves. So you multiply both sides times two fifths. And we're doing that so that we can isolate the y z. And then this right over here, these cancel out. On the left-hand side, we're left with just yz. And on the right-hand side, we are left with 9 times 2 is 18 over 5. And we can turn that. This is the same thing if we write it as a mixed number. 5 goes into 18 three times with a remainder of 3. So it's 3 and 3 fifths, which is the same thing as 3.6. So yz over here is going to be 3.6. So we've done one of the sides. Now we have to figure out what xz is. And so here we know that 5 halves, we know that 5 halves is going to be equal to 10 over xz. Is going to be equal to 10 over xz. And once again, we can multiply. There's multiple ways you could do it. You could flip both sides of this equation. So you could say 
Now, so I'll do it in a slightly different way than we did it that way, just so there's multiple ways to solve this. You could say 2 over 5 is equal to xz over 10. So I'm just taking the reciprocal of both sides. And then multiply both sides of this equation by 10. Multiply both sides by 10. So you're left with xz is equal to 10 times 2 is 20 divided by 5. So this is going to be 4. So xz ends up being 4. That is 4. And we're done. The smaller painting has dimensions 2, 3.6, and 4.